Stan Gibalisco here. Uh, I'd like just like to um, get your opinion, your insight, and your criticism about a couple of concepts of infinity that have occurred to me throughout my long, tortuous, and low experience, low qualifications mathematical career, okay? Ever since I was 15 years old. Well, actually, ever since I was 13 years old, I became fa I have been fascinated by the idea of division by zero. Ever since my seventh grade teacher uh, told me division by zero is not defined, and I said, "Well, suppose that we suppose that we try to define it. Uh, why not? Why isn't it defined?" And she simply said, "Division by zero is not defined." Well, by saying that with such emphasis and such conclusiveness, conclusiveness and such conviction, she made me bound and determined to define it. And, of course, a very common idea is that infinity equals 1 over 0, or maybe a better way to say it would be that 1 over 0 equals infinity. Well, let's put that aside for a moment and just say what, kind of properties would we expect infinity to have? I mean, if, if there were a number called infinity, what might it behave like? Well, one thing that it might do is that if, if we had a quantity x that was infinity and we add 1 to it, we'd get x right back again. Infinity would be something so large, a quantity so big, that adding 1 to it would just give you itself. Any number, that's not true of any ordinary real number, of course. You can always uh, take any integer, any real number, any number whatsoever, and add 1 to it and get something bigger. It doesn't matter how big it is. It doesn't matter whether it's 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10th. It doesn't matter whether you make go out with powers of 10 a million times, you're still going to get a quantity such, a quantity x, such that x plus 1 is not equal to x. It never gets big enough. Now, proportionately, of course, the bigger the numbers get, adding 1 to it, the proportional difference gets less and less. I mean, like, if you take 1 and add 1 to it, you get 2. If you take a million and add one to it, you get a million and one. Proportionately, two is twice as big as one, but a million and one is only a tiny fraction of a percent bigger than a million. You see what I'm saying? Well, we might say that infinity is a number such that adding one to it wouldn't make any difference at all. Well, with that in mind, Let's see what 1 over 0 actually behaves like. Now, this was the way that I approached this, was I said that 1 over 0 equals a quantity that I called Yagi. Well, why did I call it Yagi? Well, I thought, well, well let's make an I, like it stands for infinity, an uppercase I, and and then put a line through the middle of it. So we're not exactly assuming it's infinity, but we're thinking of it that way. Well, this is a, a ham radio antenna, familiar to all radio hams, a Yagi antenna. <laughs> so that's why I called it Yagi. Anyway, suppose, how, what kind of properties would Yagi have? We would want to think that one of the properties that Yagi would have, if it is in fact behaving like infinity is that yagi plus one would equal yagi now remember yagi equals one over zero so let's just go ahead and see what happens when we add one to one over zero one over zero plus one equals what well there's a familiar rule of algebra that we can use with ordinary numbers, and let's just uh, invent a little axiom, also known as a postulate. 
that this holds true not only for all real numbers, but for all numerical entities that we might dream up, such as Yagi. And that is like, it works like this. Here is the axiom. Let me just back up a little bit and show you this axiom. For all x, whether they be real numbers or anything else, for all x, y, z, and w, the following holds true. w over x plus y over z equals wz plus xy, that quantity, divided by xz. So when, and, and you know, you've learned that in algebra. W times Z plus X times Y, that quantity divided by X times Z. Well, okay, now we know that axiom and we're going to extend it to all numerical entities, including Yagi. So let's go back now and evaluate 1 over 0 plus 1. Well, that's the same thing as 1 over 0 plus 1 over 1. What's that? Well, it's 1 times 1, this times that, plus 0 times 1, that times that, that quantity, divided by 0 times 1 that quantity. Well, what's that? That is 1 plus 0 divided by 0, which equals 1 over 0. So this it works for this particular uh, iteration or concept or notion of what we would expect infinity to behave like. If you add 1 to this quantity here, this Yagi, if you add 1 to that, then you get <coughs> Yagi all over again. So that works. Now, I want you to tell me what you think of this. And I also want you to tell me what the heck you think math porn is. Is this math porn? I looked that up because someone called my book Pre-Calculus Know-It-All. Pre-Calculus Know-It-All. Go to um, Amazon.com and look up pre-calculus know-it-all. Maybe that's a single word. A dash might not be there. Look it up and there's a review there that calls it math porn of the highest degree. I believe it's on the Amazon review page. And I think the guy gave it five stars to the guy or the gal as the case may be. So I guess that person must think math porn is good. <laughs> so, Pre-calculus know-it-all, otherwise pre-calculus for geeks, pre-calculus for nerds, pre-calculus for people who love math. And I guess this guy does because he called it math porn of the highest degree. So is what I've just done here math porn? I mean, you know, it, it's highly theoretical in a certain way. But unlike pre-calculus know-it-all, it's not commonly accepted stuff. I mean, it's not uh, classical mathematics. Is that math porn? Or would I have to be some sort of a gorgeous female or male creature without many clothes on doing this video and talking about this? Then maybe it would be math porn, right? Well, if I were to put on a bathing suit and get in front of a video camera, I think about three quarters of you would pass out before 30 seconds had elapsed. So I can't do it like that. 
But tell me more seriously, what do you really think of this? What do you think of division by zero? Stan Gibalisco from the Nerd Castle Penthouse. Signing off for now. Till next time, so long.